Ambore Sai Ambore Sai Ambore Me yonga Sai Sai Mbok For those who may not know me My name is Masoki Mama Soki I am a son of the Rocky Mountain the Holy Cave the Holy Grotto the mountain of God called Ngorlituba in Cameroon Cameroon is a Western African country which is border with Nigeria on its western side I am also the great grandson and heir to the great patriarch the great guardian of tradition the one who has overcome death in the name of Bombo Jami. Today is my first video recorded in English language. English language is my third language. It is my third language. So I beg you to bear with my English accent. Most of the time, I record my video in my ancestral Basa language and sometimes in French language, which is my second language. So, if today I am recording this video in English language, it is just because my Anglophone brothers and sisters within the continent and in the diaspora have been asking me to also record a, a English video so that they too can understand what I have been talking about. And I just would like to say that those language such as those European language such as French, English, Spanish, Portuguese, they are African language. They are broken African language. They are broken African language. But this is not a topic of today. This will be a topic of another day. Before I can carry on, I would like to remind you that you can subscribe to my YouTube account, Masoki Mamasoki, in order to, to listen all my video. And when you subscribe, video that are entitled in French language are in French and those that are in title in Basa language are in Basa language um, and for those of you who are interested in politics in global issue you can also subscribe to my blog www.masoki.com wordpress.com and my blogs is purely in English language all articles in my blog are in English language as I just said I have recorded several videos in Basa and in French language in which I talk about the ancient African understanding of the universe. You know? 
and African spirituality and religion. And one of the topics I have discussed in Basa and French language was Tatel, Ngogli Tuba, the God of the World. Ngogli Tuba, the, the God of the World. So I would love to discuss about this topic today in English language. But for you to understand this topic, I have to go in depth. You know, I have to give you background information. And and actually I am using my my cell phone and my cell phone cannot record more than 38 minutes. So I don't know if I will be able to to give you all this background information within 38 minutes. So if the video cut off, it means that the recording time of my cell phone has run out. Ah, the topic, Ngog Le Tuba, the God of the World. First of all, I told you in the introduction that I am a son of a rocky mountain, a holy cave, a holy grotto, a mountain of God called Ngoli Tuba. So Ngoli Tuba is a rocky mountain in Cameroon. Ngoli Tuba, it is a great a, a cave in Cameroon. It is a meteorite. It is a meteorite that has fallen, that has fallen millions and millions of years ago before the apparitions of mankind on earth and the word ngolituba is composed of two words ngok and lituba ngok means rock and lituba means a hole that's why that's why we also ngok call we also call ngolituba a pierced rock a pierced rock a rock that has a hole. And Ngogli Tuba, it is the origin of mankind. The first human being appeared at Ngogli Tuba. But this has not yet been proven by people of science. People of science have not yet proven it. But it is proven without question that human being, humanity originated in Africa. In Africa, that our ancestors are all black, whether you, are, whether you call yourself white, whether you call yourself yellow, whatever color you attribute yourself, your ancestors are black and Africans. And the God you worship, you venerate, you kneel down to pray, whatever your religion, whether you are Christian, whether you are Muslim, whether you are Hinduist, whether you are Krishna, whatever, this God you worship every day, it is a black woman. It is the Rocky Mountain. It is the rock called Ngogli Tuba in Cameroon. And I am here today to tell you that and to prove it and to not only to tell you but also to prove you that. These people of Ngogli Tuba, they are the one who migrated from the holy mountain, from the pierced rock. They migrated from Western Africa till North Africa and the one they established the great Pharaonic and Egyptian civilization. So those who build the Egyptian civilization, the 
pyramid, the pyramid you venerate. They come from they come from the holy mountain, Gauli Tuba, and they migrated. You know. Today we no longer argue, we no longer argue that ancient Egypt was black people, you know. In fact, Egypt is not even a, an African word. Eh? Egypt is a Greek, is a Greek Greek word. Which come from Egyptos. Egyptos means somebody with a great soul. Because ancient Egypt was a black land, the land of the Basa people. And there was a Basa pharaoh or king called Inhoptep. You know? So the word, the Egyptians, the, the Greek, Name him Egyptos, somebody with, great, with a great soul. So they, they are the same Basa people who went, who are the first inhabitant of the United States of America. Of America. But this is a topic of another day. They told about the Red Indians. But we have to come, I have to come to another video to explain you that. But the word Indian himself, the word Indian itself is an African word, which means black. You can, you can Google search. These are the first people who went and established China, because the first Chinese are black. The Chinese themselves are, have recognized it in 2010. The Fan University, the study of Fan Yan University in 2010 have confirmed that their ancestors are black, are Africans. That is Negroid. That's what Chinese word. If you you know the Chinese language, most Chinese word are African word, such as the yin and the yang, Taoism. This is African word. It is the same thing with Japan. It is the same thing with Western Europe, France, Paris, Italy, Mexico. Hello. So. Because the Egyptian civilization you see today, the real Egypt, the real Egypt have always existed in a spiritual realm, in a spiritual realm, in celestial level called Ngorlituba. So, and those Ngorlituba people who went and built ancient Egypt. These are the first Freemason. These are the first Freemason. Because before you build a house, before you build a house, first of all, you need a, a, a plan or a blueprint. And what when an architect, when an architect have done you have, have, have given you a blueprint, and then you go to the builder and the builder materialize what it is the it is in the blueprint so the so the ancient egyptian civilization is just the materialization of a real egypt that exists in the spiritual level in the spiritual world okay because Euro europeans were was amazed by the ancient basa civilization or black civilization then they created a subject of studies, a subject of studies called Egyptology. Egyptology is a science that study the ancient Egyptian civilization, ancient Egyptian civilization. But we in Africa, we the Basa people, we the Ngobli Tuba people, we don't call it Egyptology. We have nothing to do with the word Egypt or Egyptology. We call it Mbok. Kwan Kwan. We call it Mbok Kwan Kwan. Mbok means tradition. Tradition, it also means universe. And Kwan Kwan means time immemorial. Ancient time. Because this thing the white people have called Egyptology, it's it just the tradition of what 
far ancestors. That's why we call it the ancient tradition. We call it the ancient tradition and not Egyptology. Okay. Because it's the ancient tradition of the Basa people. And the Basa people are going to uh, left Egypt in 525 BC, before Christ. Just for chronological reference. That's why I use the term before Christ. Because Christ, Christ himself never existed. Christ is just a mythology or a myth taken from the Gaul Yutuba spirituality, from the Basa spirituality. I will explain everything to you. I will explain what I will explain everything to you. So 525 before Christ, the, the, uh, the king of Persia, the king of Persia called Cambys, will at attack Egypt, attack Egypt, and the Basa people, or all the black people, and most of the black people left Egypt and spread alongside the rest of the African continent. And some Basa people who left Ngorituba in Western Africa and migrated to create and to establish the Egyptian civilization when they were attacked by the, by the, by the, uh, the Persians, they never forgot that the, the far ancestor came from a holy from a holy mountain a rocky mountain a cave a stone so they walk back that way passing through sudan lake chad nigeria then entering cameroon and this is the rocky mountain this is the rocky mountain. This is the cave. This is what they're telling the Bible. Mount, the, this is what the white people tell you in the Bible, Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai. I will explain everything to you. All these people you hear in the Bible, whether in the Torah, Bible, they never existed. The Bible himself says so. In the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 20 to 24 it is says it is said that abraham has two wives sarah and Ega. but those two wives were just analogy one of just one of them just represent the month the month sinai and other represent the covenant so analogy means what they never existed so see so if abraham wife never existed existed it means that the whole descendants never existed. So we have no David, we have no Solomon, we have no Jesus. It is written. Read the Bible. It is written. The word analogy. Okay. Now, we don't have to, and, and these are the same Basa people. And what, what should I say? Okay. The Basa people will uh, uh, left Egypt 525 before Christ when Egypt were, at, were attacked. But until, till, until, until this day, we still have a city in present Egypt. If you go to North, North Egypt, you still have a city called Sa El Ega. Because the Basa people, the Basa, Basa means what? Basa means, Basa means the Sa people. The Sa people. Because the God the God you, you venerate, the God you venerate, the God all the world worship, is this Ngorituba people, it is a uh, whole Rocky Mountain Ngorituba. It is that Ngorituba that is also called Nsa. Nsa. And, it, and, she's a, and she's a black woman. You know. Go to the Vatican. The God they worship inside the Vatican is the black woman. Virgin Mary inside the Vatican is a black woman. You can you can go to YouTube on Google. Jesus Christ in the Vatican is the black. Okay. 
So until today in Egypt, you have you have a north city, you have in the, in the, in the northern city of Egypt called Sa El Egar. So when the Arab the Arab came, they added El Egar. But in the ancient time of the Basa people during the time in Egypt, they called this city in Sa period. It was just called Sa. Sometimes they call it Sao. That's what you hear in Africa, Guinea Bissau. That's what you hear the Basa people in Liberia, Mozambique, Senegal, Nigeria, all over the place in Africa. The Igbo, the Igbo people, the Yoruba, the Ashanti, the Songhai people, they are all the Basa people. And the God you worship, whatever your religion on this earth, even I have studied Buddhism, Zen Buddhism, and I received Jukai in, in Zen Buddhism. And even the origin of Buddhism. Buddhism is, is the religion that they are not talk about God, but the origin of Buddhism is in God. Yoga. And the Buddha himself was a Basa man, was a black man. I'm coming to that. Don't worry. Now, you don't have to forget that India and Africa was one continent. And then they split. The word India himself or Hindu is an African word, it's a Basa word which means black. India means black. That's why in my language, if, if I want to say black, I say Hindu. You say Hindu in my own language, African language, in Basa language. Because continents are moving every co continent are moving. Some continent I are getting closer to others while others are are distancing them, themselves from others in, sci in science they call this movement of planet they call it plate tectonic or the tectonic of, of plate i don't know if i have the proper english translation but in french you call it tectonic the plaque so i think in english, in english is plate tectonic so continent continent are moving so it's how india separated itself from africa so the topic today it will demonstrate that it will demonstrate that the god you worship is it's just a stone it's a rocky mountain in Cameroon it's a black woman whatever your religion so that's what I'm first of all I'm giving you background inform information background information because this is this is a this is a, a field of studies hmm? So I'm just giving background inform information. Now, the word Babel itself, the word Bible, is an African word. It's a Basa word. The Bible has nothing to do with holy books. The Bible comes from Bablos. Bablos is an African word. It's a Basa word. That means back of a tree. A tree back of, of a tree. Because Bablos, the the Basa in Egypt, the ancient uh, the, the ancient Basa people, they call a bark of a tree Bablos, and this Bablos come come from the the, the, the Basa of Ngolutuba in West Africa called uh, called Mbabi Mbabi. So Bablos ba, Babel come from Babi. Babi means bark of a tree back of a tree because in ancient Egypt the Basa people the black people used to used to write on the papyrus so they used to use the the, the paper the plant of the papyrus to to create papers in order to write now this being said let's carry on I'm just giving you background information okay now the other people say the the, the, the word holy bubbles came from Helios bubbles. Helios, which is Greek, which means sun, the book of the sun. In the book of the sun. That's why you have Sunday, Monday. Because the Bible is also an astro astrological book. And this sun, Helios, this sun or this star, because the sun is also a star. And this star he also is, is also the same grotto, holy cave, the same black woman, the same star, 
I will come to that. I'm, I'm just giving you background information. I will come to that. Then, now, as I was telling you that, Ngolituba is a rocky mountain in Cameroon. It's a cave. It's a meteorite that has fallen millions and millions of years ago. Now, when the European came to colonize Cameroon, the people of Cameroon, when they reach at a place called Ngolituba, they, they implanted, they put by force a cross. And this cross still stand there until this day. You can still see this cross on top of the holy grotto. Now, the cross itself is not, has nothing to do with Christianity. The cross has nothing to do with Christianity. This cross is a basa thing. It's a, it's a basa spiritual symbol. The basa people have two cross. We have, first of all, the cross of life, of eternal life. We call it, in, in ancient Egypt, they call it Ang, Ang, the cross of life. Here it is. Here it is, the cross of life. Then you have a cross of death. Then you have a cross of death. That symbolizes death. This is what you call Christian cross. But this has nothing to do with Christianity. This is a, a Basa symbol. Because European who bring you Christianity have no religion. All religion started in Africa. You can do your Google search. You can do your Google search. So that's why this cross you call Christian cross represent death. That's why you, you have you, Jesus Christ on the cross. Before Christianity, before even Judaism, the Basa people in ancient Egypt used that cross. If you go, the, the, because in, in Egypt, the pyramid, the, the pyramid are the tomb or the grave of the king or the pharaoh. So when the so when the, the when the so when the pharaoh the, the pharaoh so when the pharaoh or a king took power in Egypt, they started building a pyramid where they are going to bury him. So the pyramid are just the grave of of the king or the pharaoh. If you go in Egypt, in the pyramid of Medum, the the, the pharaoh or a king that was buried that was buried in the pyramid of Medum, you, you will find a cross, what you call Christian cross, and this that three thousand years before Judaism. So long time, even before Judaism started, African people when they bury somebody, they put a cross. And and in my in my in my upcoming video, I will explain to you the symbolism of the cross you call Christian cross. This has nothing to do with Christianity. This is African. This is Basa. So let's come back. So when the European come to uh, to Cameroon in West Africa, and they they this, they, they, they saw the the holy mountain, the mountain of God, God, that rock. So they put the cross on top of the holy mountain, and that cross is still today. So when when Cameroon get independence in 1960. The indigenous people, the Basa people, wrote several letters to the Vatican to ask the Vatican to, to come and peacefully and peacefully remove the cross on top of the holy mountain. Because this cross symbolizes death. This cross symbolizes symbolize death. The Vatican never wanted to remove the cross and the, and the Vatican has always been supported by the colonial government of Cameroon because in fact Cameroon never had never never gained a true and proper independence because the leaders of the independence struggle were all killed before Cameroon got independence and then France put the puppet France and Great Britain put the puppet to govern Cameroon. 
until until this day Cameroon is governed by puppet by people who are in the service of white people now so in two last year last year in 2017 because that cross were put there before 1960 you know in 2017 children of the Basa people the indigenous uh, children they went and removed the cross and the catholic church in cameroon called the police and the military they was arrested and put to jail and less than two months later the catholic church accompanied with military police and gun and petrol and went to um, to plant again the cross on top of that mountain but that holy mountain is recognized by the united nations as a site belonging to the basa people to the indigenous people and according to the united nations declaration on the right of the indigenous people to auto uh, to to the right to determine and govern themselves you know so they went and put the cross back And today the Catholic Church, even the Vatican, claim that that, that holy mountain, that rocky mountain, that rock belongs to them. That's why they don't want to remove the cross. Okay. But if that mountain belongs to them, why do they have to go there with, with the military? Because I don't need military to accompany, to accompany me in my own house. I don't need military, I don't need gun to enter in my own house. Only a thief, only a, beg, a, a, a burglar need military, need gun to go to somewhere house. Hmm? To go to someone else's house. You don't need gun and military to enter your own house. So, it is nonsensical, it is absurd for we the Basa people to claim that the Vatican in Rome belong to us. But the question we have to ask ourselves, the question that begs to be asked, why the Catholic Church are so interested with the Holy Mountain? In Cameroon, we just grow with that rocky cave with that rocky mountain why are they so interested why are they so interested to the point to the to the to the to the extent of bringing military gun and all sorts of weapon because they know that that rocky mountain that rocky mountain that stone that meteorite they know what it is it is the god all religion worship and i am here to demonstrate that to you and i will use the bible i had a bible here we are going to go through the bible then we are going to go to the Quran. we are going to go to the torah then we are going to go to Hinduism. We are going to go to Krishna. We are going to go to Buddhism. We are going to go to Taoist, Taoism. All the God, whatever your religion, the God you worship is just that rocky mountain. It's just a black woman. Humanity started in Africa. Africa gave you everything. Science, technology started from there. The first university was in, was called Tumbutu in Western African country called Mali. The world largest library.
was called Alexandria in Egypt. All those so-called Greek, Greek scientists, Pythagoras, Plato, Thales, they stay in Africa, in Egypt, for more than 15 years to study mathematics. The word mathematics is a Basa and African word. It comes from the word math. And when they were leaving Egypt, they burned down the world's largest library called Alexandria. Because they didn't want black people to know their own history. We are tired of racism. We are tired of hatred against black people. Wherever in the world they hate black people. Why? Because black people, because God is a black woman. And I will demonstrate those who bring you religion, they have no religion. This is African religion. This is Basa religion. They gave you. I can only record 38 minutes with my camera. We are already on 36 minutes here. Yeah. So I have a time here with me. I'm timing. So if so I carry on this video a uh, another time, then we we'll go to the Bible to demonstrate that that God you worship, whatever you call God in Christianity, in Judaism, in Islam, is just that rocky mountain. It's just that a black woman. I have no more time now to go through the video. So today I was giving you background information. Background information. Ambore side. Ambore side. Ambore my younger side. Side book.